It is December 1st, 1955. The police arrested Rosa Parks. She is now under custody of the police. I'm tired of all this racism. It's time to stand up for ourselves. Rosa Parks proceeded and sat at the front of the bus and refused to give her spot to a white passenger. who saw Rosa Parks sit right in front of the white people. Yes, I saw how the white passengers kept on telling her to move, but she wouldn't give up her spot. How did you feel about this? Um, I feel kind of, I don't know, I like what's, explain it. what's going on, why is this African sitting here? Yeah, she's not supposed to. Oh, okay. Well, did you feel offended? That yes, oh. I did. Because like, white people are number one. Oh. And here it is, folks. Racism. We rule. United, racism in the United States. The police arrested Rosa Parks. We are now here at the, the jail where she's being held. Martin Luther King was aware of this, and now he's going to bring a solution. Let's go ahead and see Rosa Parks, how much she's suffering. As you can see, racism at its finest. The police arrested her rapidly. The solution of a bus boycott was brought up to Martin Luther King, who was the leader. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., an African-American who earned a PhD degree in, the, in theology, is elected leader of the Montgomery Improvement Association to boycott the bus in order of Rosa Parks. <laughs> Here's a speech that Dr. King gave for the Montgomery Association. <laughs> oh, 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 segregated school, let us yeah, march, yeah, yeah. until every vestige of segregated and inferior education becomes a thing of the past, mm -hmm. and Negroes and whites study side by side mm -hmm. in the socially healing context of the classroom. Mm -hmm. Let us march on poverty. Let us December 5th, 1955 was when King made a declaration to a crowd of over 5,000, 15,000 people. African Americans, just... Americans filed a lawsuit and boycotted the bus for 381 days. Here we are with the witness, a local African American. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Esmeralda Ray. Um, so you witnessed King's speech? Yes, I did. Um, the speech, it was amazing. It brought people to their feet and it kind of made me want to make a change in segregation. Did you, were you one of the African Americans to uh, join the boycott against yes it was and I had to get transportation from someone else um was it was it better than the bus a little um, well at least you don't sit in the back anymore. <laughs> yeah so that's good well thank you for your time okay. in 1956 bus segregation we have just found out that the governor of Arkansas Overall, Fabius has now pre has now prevented them from entering the segregated school. Here we are with Elizabeth Eckford, who faced an abusive crowd. She was one of the nine little rocks who was not reached by the phone, who had to go by herself in the school, and she was black. And yeah, um, as I walked into school, it was a horrible feeling. I was cursed at. Um, I was everyone was being mean to me because of my color. They were throwing trash at me. It was really bad. As you can see, how we need more enforcement in our schools. So what are you trying to prove here? I was just trying to prove that blacks can go to the same school as whites. Um, and yeah. Here's the video of the soldiers watching out for the nine African Americans attend their, attending their high school class.
Good evening. Shocking news at 6.01 p.m. April 4th, 1968. Civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was shot by a sniper's bullet. Let's go down with Alondra, who was at the scene. <laughs> Good evening. Just moments ago, Martin Luther King Jr. was standing in his balcony at the motel he was staying at in Memphis, Tennessee, where he was then shot. The bullet had gone through his, through his throat, entering from his cheek and getting out through his shoulder. Today, we recorded earlier a witness who had seen the criminal flee from the scene. Her name is Aunt Jemima. Let's go and check it out. I was hearing my grandchildren when I heard of the bullets. I was shocked and took my children as far as possible. I saw a young white fellow with short hair. Hello. It has been two days since Dr. King has been assassinated. His death has brought an outpouring grief and rage among many blacks and some whites. Riots have begun primarily in urban areas destroying a lot of property. Now arrested James Earl Ray as a convict who assassinated Dr. King. Although many people, including Dr. King's family, believe he is innocent. Most of you may wonder what started all these riots. Well, on July 1946 is when it all started. When a white police officer killed a poor, innocent, black 15-year-old. Here we are with the young African male who was a part of the race riots, who, in his opinion, says why it's okay to do it and why there's a good reason We were very it. mad, so we started to destroy everything. We're not going to stop until everything is equal, like school, jobs, and education. These race riots are getting out of control. No one should blame us for what we're doing. We're just fighting for equality. Good evening. The citizens have taken over restaurants in North Carolina and the movement is quickly spreading into southern states. Here we have a local activist partaking in the civil rights movement. It's called what we were doing was sitting down, peacefully waiting to be served. Suddenly, most of the white people with bats were standing behind us ready to remove us from the facility. Do you know what the downside of this is? It's just that the protesters, the African Americans who have been violently attacked during their sit-in protests. But the only thing that's really, like, messed up about it is just that they vow to never violently attack back. So they're being attacked very, very bad. And they're just doing what they got to do in order to have their rights, you know? It's 1961 here, and Freedom Riders were civil rights activists who rode integrated buses into the segregated southern United States. You know, just black people trying to prove a point. Some whites have been in a local Negro who partook in the Freedom Riders. My name is Jeff. As the group approached the bus terminal, we just saw a large group of people ready with their bats and sticks, and, and the first people to get out of the bus disappeared into the mob. And that is your news for the whole entire civil rights movement. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry if it was a little, you know, we tried our best.